Just going to know. It's a movie business. People don't realise there's all this hanging about. They think it just happens like that, but doesn't it? Go to wait all the time. Yeah. Okay, Bob, ready? Thanks very much. We're going to cut the first line. Mm -hmm. Instead, we'll fade up in the middle of your rant. Okay. Ooh, okay. That's you got a line cut already. You know you've been in two minutes. Oof. Must be murder that when you've practised it and everything like that. I don't know what I'd do if I get my line cut off me. I've only got one line. I'm only in for one day. Many days are you in for? Twelve weeks. It's my picture. You must have a lot of lines. Many lines have they gave you? I couldn't say because I haven't counted. I don't know. I'm in every scene. I don't know. Uh, hundreds. Oh, I don't know. OK, Bob. Ready? Ready when you are. I'm ready as well. Good. Yeah, can ready. we go? I can go. You ready to go, Bob? Good. OK. Lots of energy here. OK? Oh, energy. Right. And action. Now, listen to me. I came in here on Monday, just like every other Monday, with 15 Gs. On Tuesday, with 45. That's 20 more than I usually dump on a Tuesday. On Wednesday, I took out 60, but I brought it straight back on Thursday. Now, today, Friday morning, I won 75 Gs to tide me over till Monday when I'm in with my regular 15 Gs. And then on Tuesday, I'm back in the black, and that is all. See? Cut. Fantastic. Fabulous. What a guy. Can we go again? Oh, again? Yeah, we got some lighting problems here, Bob. Nothing to do with you. You were great. Ah, you were great. You said a mouthful there. Hey, oh, you were brilliant. I don't know how you did that. What? Oh, remember not that. You know, that's what separates the sheep from the boys and the, the cows and the goats and all that. That's, what, <laughs> that's how you've got all the lines, and I've just got a stinking one line. Oh, how do you remember that? It's easy. Oh, I couldn't remember. See, see, see if I've got a difficult line to learn, I just write it on my shirt. See if you see me looking at my shirt, that's me looking at my line. Look, it's all numbers. All right. Monday's 15, Tuesday's 45, whatever it is. Right. Then you take 20 off. It's easy. Ah, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You said 25,000 Gs earlier on. Yeah. So you had 25,000 Gs, now you said 40 odds, remember? That's because I'm coming in with more on the Tuesday than I've ever done before. I appreciate that, but that's not what you said. But I mean, how does that add up to 60? Well, OK. Ready? Oh, right. Oh. And <clears throat> action. Now, listen to me. I came in here on Monday with 15 Gs, just like every other Monday. On Tuesday, with 25. Cut. You said 25. Aye. What am I, uh, what am I supposed to say? Uh, no, you, you did say 25. Wait a minute, you're supposed to add up to 60. That's right. So 25 and the 40. No, it's 45. What is this no, guy? No, no, wait a minute. He said 25. 25 and 45 doesn't add up to 60. What is he doing? Please, please. Well, wait a minute, why don't we get a calculator? No, we don't need a calculator, it's 45. I've got a calculator. It's 45! You okay, Bob? No, I'm not okay. This guy keeps talking at me. Right. Well, hey, where, where, where Quiet! Am I, wait a minute, where am I getting... And... 20, where, where am I getting 25s on the Monday? I don't get mixed up. Shut up! <laughs> okay? Oh, well, that's nice, isn't it? Action! Now listen to me. I came in here on Monday, just like every other Monday, with 25. Cut! Uh, Remember? Aye. Same as any other Monday. See, the thing is, Bob, there, you're getting mixed up. You're, you're under pressure. You're, you're putting shut up. up. Please. Please shut up. Oh, Why can't I remember this line? Well, you want to, I'm trying to help. help OK, you. quiet, ready. And <clears throat> action. Right. Now, listen to me. I came in here on Monday, just like every other Monday, with... 15. Cut! <laughs> Don't you bop. Oh, I forgot what he was saying. He's obviously getting mixed up. He's trying to... Right, okay. listen. Do you want me to write it on my cuff for you? OK. 
could you? No problem, right. So, uh, Monday you come in with 15. 15, 15 yeah. on the Monday, right? This is what Robert De Niro does. Uh, you look at me. Oh, you look at me. <laughs> Hashish, Ganja, Cannabish, Mopey Dope, Trippy Draw, The Relaxion, Historical, and Now and Par Magazine Boom. Spliefen is the complete story the smoke and the weeding. Issue and including Jar Freebie Champlin de la Saka Skunk. Spliefen published Spielen and Niederlander Preven and Bilden onto and fine collecti boom and binder. And alternate avim, Jar de Pages Osto Rollable. Spliefen, available and the news agent Spielen and Coffee Shop. Right, I'm up. Lager, lager. Oh. Jerry, lager. Yep. Wally. Aye. What are you having? Nothing. Come on, take a drink. Take a drink, Wally. No. What's the matter with you? Maffet. Right, what can I get you? Three lager hen, Wally. Maffet. Come oh, on, take a drink. Jerry, here's your brother not taking a drink. Wally, take a drink. What's going on? Eh, he's not wanting a drink. What's the matter with you? Take a drink. Come on, take a drink. <laughs> take a drink. Take a drink. No. Take a drink. Take, take a drink. All right. And yeah. And Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you here for the assertiveness classes? Mm. <laughs> 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 We're not doing much. Wandering the day, are we? No, we are not, but we're getting all the exercise we need, Alistair and myself, out here in Loch Spransy. <laughs> Indeed we are, Rory. And of course, legend has it that the young marauder, Prince Archie, rode across the loch by cover of night and stowed away on Archie's Isle for six months there. That's very true, Alistair. But of course, you don't have to be fleeing the enemy to enjoy a wee row out on the loch. <laughs> you do In not. fact, for all the modes of transport, this has to be the most tranquil. I remember when my father first brought me out on this, this very loch and... Jack, come on, man! I'll have you! Don't go them now. Don't go them, Rory. Rory, don't go them. I'm calling the police, boy! <laughs> you trouble now! Was er iemand stiemen de hein? Was er robber? Die zijn gozer die bekaar die brieset. Om de aftershocks te deflieren. Aftershocks. Oh oh, hé, hij is een mietok. Hola. Kom. Regulars onder de rij. Nee, socks. Oh, nee, zijn die socks. Niet poppets. Mmm, socks. Poppets. Socks. Nee, zijn poppets. Socks. Ook. Nee, zijn poppets. Oh, no, no. Dit is... Is that for serendipity, eh? A brand new 50 pence piece. Somebody must have swallowed that. <laughs> Let me show it. No. No. You're a wise man. You could be battering away at them for weeks and weeks and only get a nut or something, do you know what I mean? <clears throat> indicate, Linda, indicate. Make your intentions clear. Show the other drivers what you're doing it. Linda! Indicate! You don't have to indicate in a slip road, Harry. Linda's coming off already. Jeez, look at the size of this place. It's big. I know. There's a surprise, eh? 
Warehouse being a big size, that's amazing. Well, it's the biggest one in Europe. And they've got a full restaurant here as well. Yeah, that's why we got in the car and travelled 40 miles so we could have a nice meal out here. Was that your intention, to come out here for a slap-up? Oh, I don't know. Wouldn't you mind a wee burger and a wee soft drink there? Once you get that patio set you're after? Yeah, but that's not the reason we're here, George, is it? No, that's right, Harry. Is this where you're going to park? Oh, that's a grand idea, Linda. That's what today. Park right here, and then we'll get a taxi or a train or a light aircraft, perhaps, up to the warehouse. Or perhaps we could park a little closer. Or is that just a mad, wacky, madcap, cookie-coo idea? <coughs> Linda, there's a spot up the front there. Somebody's coming out. Thanks, George. Right, come on, then. Come on, get the boot down and get the space. Oh. Are you happy now, Linda? Did you not see the speed bump? There's George sitting in the back now with, at best, an egg in his seat or, at worst, whiplash. I'm all right, Harry. That's his maybe, George. He says he's fine, Harry. Think he's fine, Harry. What are you doing? I'm looking for your stethoscope, Dr Linda. You're wasted in this car with us. You'd be more of use in casualty with all the carnages. For God's sake. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Do you hear that? That's your beeper going, Linda, telling you to get out of the car and let Harry drive. <sighs> now we're getting somewhere. There's a spot right there, Harry. I'm ahead of you there, George. Space, Harry. If it was you who was driving, it would be their space. But I'm driving, so it's my space. <laughs> you see, Linda, you are a ditherer. Whereas me and George, we would never dither. We would see an opportunity and take it. But no you, that's somebody else's space. You better watch it no taking somebody's space. That's just you or the back, Linda. <laughs> take my space, you bastard! <laughs> Like a drink from the bar? Hey, I'll have a lager, please, eh? Hey. A gin and tonic, please. Not for me, thanks. Come on, take a drink. Hey, what's the matter with you? Take a drink. Martha. Take a drink. What's going on here? The passenger no taking a drink. Take a drink. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Take a drink. Go on. Take a drink. Oh. <laughs> take a drink! All right, then. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, it's a two-star hotel, £121, full room and board for the two weeks. But one of the nicest things is that, despite being one of the busiest resorts on the island, it still manages to retain the charm and quiet peacefulness of a fishing village. I smell shite. <laughs> hey, marriage is a great institution, but who wants to live in an institution? <laughs> great show, Max! Right. right, right, I'm up. <laughs> <sighs> Prince Charming! Oh! Prince Charming! <laughs> you have to keep all that stuff in the middle! I don't want to hide! Wait, hurry up! Do you think I would leave me? Oh, no, 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 Call yourselves a team. I was embarrassed for you. Unbelievable. What a shower of wasters. Get on the bus. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You give 
that football team two minutes and it'll be as right as rain. Hardy, 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 in the windy boat. Your man will take a drink. What's the matter, will you? Aye, take a drink. Nah. Go on, just take a drink. What's going on? Mr. McCall is not taking a drink. What's the matter, will you? Aye, take a drink. Come on, take a drink. Just take a drink. Take a drink. Come on, have a drink. What's wrong? Ho, ho, ho. Just take a drink. <laughs> Here, Wally. Never mind that painting. Can we do series? What is it, man? You ever had your gums round one of them? No. That's a lobster, man. That's a delicacy. Really, um, delicate. I'm going to bang one of them into my bag before I go up the road tonight. <laughs> you can't do that, but eh? you, can't, you can't totally pick the wee man, you know, and send him to his death like that, man. Can't do that. Yeah, you can. I follow me in the tail in the middle and that. Oh, but the sweetest seafood goodness is in the claws. <laughs> <laughs> is that right, man? You mean to say the lobster's got total mad meaty horns, man? Aye, aye. He's got to watch his back all the time in case some fat bastard turns up, right, with clippers to snip out all the sweetness out of the claws. <laughs> Big customer, I hear you, lobster. I'm going to break open your horns and scoop out your meaty sweetness, man. <laughs> Shite in it having all the sweetness in your claws. Aye, aye, It'd be better somewhere else, wouldn't it? Aye. Aye, imagine it wasn't in the lobster's claws, right? Imagine, right? It was the lobster's boys. <laughs> Big fat down like that, man. Here you, ya wee lobster. I'm going to totally munch your mad wee red lobster sweet boys, man. <laughs> oh, pink. Excuse me, madam. We're conducting a survey for a consumer affairs programme. Can you tell me which soap powder you use and why? Well, for me, it's got to be bright or white, because, see, it's ship stubborn stains, and that's a total godsend now, because Stephen's 14, and he's just started masturbating, haven't he? What was that And that's a take. <laughs> masturbating, eh? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Remember and set your video for 7.30 tonight. Oh, we will. Thanks. Still needing two cars for Wallace Well Road, boys. Last no no be is tomorrow night. You'll have to manage without me. It's my sister's wedding reception. She's got a beautiful wedding dress. My groom will be wearing a kilt. She's marrying my ex-boyfriend, Sandy. And the truth is. So love them, boys. Oh, no. Not a night feet on a hen. You cheated on me. My own sister. <coughs> Knew there was something up when he coughed up one of her toe rings one morning. <laughs> you could blame My sister's gorgeous. She's like a young Mrs Doubtfire. <laughs> She's got everything going for her. She always gets... Great boyfriends with brilliant jobs, like area manager at Asda, <laughs> steward at Ibrox, <laughs> taxi for Cardow Road. Oh, I guess. Guys that get in doors asking for ginger bottles. <laughs> they arrive here at classes, wipe the push stains off your toilet seat with your own face cloth. 
daddy's happy, and my sister's happy, then I'm happy. And I'll tell you some boys, I'm going to that wedding, and I'm going to hold my head up high. The wedding of my ex-boyfriend and my sister. <laughs> Somebody in a pint the shop for me and get me another pack of hankies. <laughs> I'll get them hen. I need some for myself anyway. Over. Not with you, you look awful fed up. Wanna do some more impressions? No. Come on. Not just new, eh? Come on. Look, I'm busy. I've got to invent Poland! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Money Penny, don't keep me shaking, not stirred. Roger Thank you very much. Who's that, man? Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper. I, I don't know him, man. <laughs> Do you know who Alice Cooper is? No. <laughs> well, jeans, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Gary, your clobber's the very damn. You could be the fifth Beatle. Ha! Oh, fifth Beatle, nothing. I'm George Harrison, the musical visionary that can take a right good chipping. Well, here we are in the heart of Liverpool. Is it not the very fab gear? Oh, I know. It makes you wonder why Frankie ever went to Hollywood. <laughs> Strawberry Fields, Penny Lane, Brookside Close. Oh, Brookside, the soap for the scallies. Cam doon, cam doon, ya divvy, or the busies will lift us the sappy. Oh, here, Gary, you're fair picking up the band till you'll be a scouser in no time. I know, next thing I'll be dipping your trouser pockets and resting your motor on top of bricks. <laughs> oh, here, but how the taxi? What is it, Gary? I've just thought of something. Two rival football teams knocking lumps out of one another. A dirty great river running through the middle of you. A tunnel, a ferry. Does Liverpool not remind you of somewhere else? Oh, Gary, you're right. Get your in, bloody pi- Oh, Jack. Ah, ah, Victor. Hey, how are you? What are you in here for? <sighs> Got a problem with my pisser. <laughs> Can you get a piss? That's what I'm in here for. My pisser's broken, no? Oh. <laughs> bloody voice, doom, Jack. You bloody tut now. Hey, you too posh to have a pisser. It's all biology, mister. Jack. <laughs> That's something else, eh? The two is in here at the same day, at the same time, both with pisser problems, eh? <laughs> what are the odds of that, eh? We and ask the bloody bookies, eh? <laughs> Boys doon, shooting and hollering, pisser, pisser, pisser. 
I don't know why we're in here with piss our problems anyway. We're getting old and decrepit. Aye, old and done. So that's the deal, you can't, you can't have a piss then, eh? No, no. It's like a navvy, stunning on the end of your flute. Yeah, stunning there like a wee lassie, sprinkle, sprinkle, dribbling, you know. <laughs> here, Jack, you know what happens when you get in there, eh? What? Back door. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'll finger up your air soul, you're joking. <laughs> Nothing sure Pants down, boom, you're in. <laughs> Here, Victor, I've got to this age without that happening to me. I'd be buggered if it's happening to me today. Aye, aye. I'm just going to go in there, I'm going to go, ho, oh, tablets, cheerio, thank you. Finger up my bloody arsehole, no way, Jose. Aye, I'll be right. Victor? I'm Victor. I'm bloody Victor. I'm He's Jack. Victor. I'm Victor. I'm Victor. I'm Victor. Hello, darling. I'm Victor. 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 And the end of this low pressure means the last of the rain. Moving on to the weekend forecast, and it looks like we'll all be enjoying a wonderful weekend of weather. Incredible as it sounds, it's going to be lovely and sunny all over the country. You should make the most of it, since this fabulous warm spell should last right until Monday, with top temperatures extremely high for this time of the year. And, uh, and you're like that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> the main headlines again. And to my father, Donald McGregor, to whose memory we dedicate the crushing of the Clan McConnell. Donald McGregor! <sighs> Why do you not drink, Cameron? Martha. <laughs> hey, what's the matter with you? Get a drink. No. Get a drink. A Martha. Glory, where's your bra, Cameron, no drinking? What's the matter with you? Take a drink. Aye. If you're a real man, take a drink. No. Take a drink. Take a drink. Take a drink. <laughs> oh, all right, then. Hey, hey oh. <laughs> Damn you! <yeah. laughs> Just doing a bit of spring cleaning, were we? Always do the hoovering with our trousers round our ankles, do we, eh? Just happened to trip and fall, did we? Just happened to get yourself stuck, did we? 